This video is specifically for crypto traders and here's why. Because in the crypto universe, there are thousands of symbols to choose from. And in this video, we're going to give you some tips to narrow down those symbols when using the search box directly from the chart. So we've all been there before. We want to find specific crypto symbols using the search box, but we want to narrow them down based on specific categories, but we also don't want to leave the chart. The best way to do that is to open the symbol search as we were just showing, and then go ahead and click the crypto tab here. Now, what you've just done is you've made it so that your search only searches for cryptocurrencies. So now this way you have eliminated stocks, funds, futures, forex, indices, bonds, and economy. We are now just in the crypto universe. Also, by the way, these same tips work for all of the other asset classes here as well. So we have crypto selected. We typed in ETH and you can see what we get here in the dropdown. If we type in BTC, you'll see what we get here in the dropdown. Only crypto assets. Now, Here's where things get especially powerful when wanting to narrow down your search, either based on the keyword you type or to find a specific symbol, or maybe even better to find something brand new. You have three more drop downs here to choose from to narrow your search. All sources, all types, all exchange types. If you click all sources, what you'll now get is the capability to specifically sort your crypto searches by that source type. Now, why does that matter? Well, that matters immensely because if it turns out that you're using OKX to place crypto trades, well, it might make sense then for you to only chart OKX symbols. So we've just clicked OKX. We have BTC selected. And now you can see here we have only OKX BTC symbols. What's also particularly helpful is you might find some new symbols or pairs that you didn't know existed on the platform yet, but now they're all right here before you. OKX, you can see it right here. So you get a list of all symbols mentioning BTC. We click the X and it's gone just like that. But this could work for any of these data providers or sources, whether it's Bitstamp, BitMEX, or anything else that you see on the list here, including TradeStation or Coinbase or CoinMetrics. Why don't we go ahead and click CoinMetrics now, and how interesting is that? They are an entirely different source, and now you see some pretty fascinating data related to BTC that maybe other sources don't have. This, for example, says the sum of all native units being held in addresses with balance of $100 or greater. These are some pretty fascinating data points that you now have access to. Let us show you some more ways to whittle down your search, which is all types, spot, swap, futures, index, fundamental. So we have crypto selected. For this sake of this video, we have all sources still selected, which means all of these sources are being utilized into our search. And now we have all types. Are we a spot trader? Well, we should have spot, in which case we're going to get spot BTC prices. But maybe we are doing some more advanced trades. Perhaps we're doing swaps. Now you're going to see a symbol list that perhaps some of you are not as familiar with. BTC USDT perpetuals, for example, we can see the sources as well up to the right. Let's cancel swaps because there are futures, indexes, or fundamentals. We're not done yet because there are also exchange types. You can have a centralized exchange or a decentralized exchange. So now you are probably starting to see why this is so important for crypto traders and just how specific you can get in your search. Imagine a world in which you are a trader and you are on a platform such as, let's say, Coinbase, and you only like to trade spot and you don't mind whether it's centralized or decentralized, you now have a highly specific search field here related to the keyword that you've typed into the top. Or if you delete the keyword, even better, now you have a list before you that you can scroll through according to the exact specifications here that you've made. So this video is for crypto traders who want to scan, sort, 
chart the assets that they want to see specifically based on various filtering mechanisms. And it all starts from the chart as well. So you never even have to leave. It's all right here. We're going to exit out, bring us back to the top, click all. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can use the symbol search, especially for crypto, to find really specific assets. In future videos, we will discuss stocks, funds, futures, forex, indices, bonds, and economy. Much of what we said is very, um, uh, to some degree, similar. You'll still find that the process is the same, but there are nuances. And in those future videos, we will walk you through them. Thanks for watching.